good morning. Gravy biscuits, grits, and scrambled eggs is what's for breakfast. We got this biscuit mix from the Logan Turnpike Meal Store. It says all you have to do is add water. And I didn't put, it says three fourths of a cup to a cup of water. I, I didn't put quite a cup, so we'll see if we need to add a little more. Yep, we definitely need to add some more. So for the sausage gravy, you just add some flour, coat the sausage, and then just add milk until you get it where you want it, and some salt and pepper. Just kind of go by feeling with the gravy. The longer it sits, the thicker it'll get, you know, with the gravy. So you might have to add a little more milk if you're waiting on everybody to get in the kitchen to eat. <laughs> like I normally am. I normally have to add some more milk a couple of times waiting on everybody. You can probably tell by the look of my hair and the fact that it is now almost four o'clock that it's Monday. <laughs> There's Manny Mac, that's his new wave, it's just that. Really the fact that it's Monday probably has nothing to do with my hair looking like this. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it's been a crazy day and it turned kind of cold again, which is a bummer because nobody wants it to be cold anymore. <laughs> We're ready for the warmer days. It's not terribly cold today. This morning it was pretty cold. We had a frost warning yesterday. Not sure if there was any frost, but I was glad that I hadn't put, you know, any plants out there or anything, because yeah, we had a frost warning. Hmm? Uh, a long time ago we were going to make plants and it did not happen. Right, it didn't happen and that was very sad. That's yeah, because I'm not a professional gardener. <laughs> I try, and that's what's important. I try. <laughs> I think it's our ground. Let's just blame it on the ground. The soil, I don't know. So yeah, it's time to cook supper now. I had a couple of ideas here. I need something quick because I think after supper we're going to Home Depot. Titus needs to go get some stain for the back porch. I'm looking for this page number because I saw, okay, here it is. I was gonna make the macaroni casserole that the kids really love. You know, it's an old recipe that my mama used to make. But then I saw this, Sloppy Joe Bake. So it looks like uh, a Sloppy Joe with like a cheesy biscuit on top of it. It looks really good. I'll have to change the recipe a little bit though. This is from the 150 recipes in a 13 by nine pan, the Gooseberry Patch Cookbook. Um, I'll have to change the recipe up a little bit cause it just calls for a can of Sloppy Joe sauce. I don't have that so we'll just have to make it like you know when we make our own sloppy joes but other than that i have everything and i think we're gonna try this with a salad i think this will be good yeah that's what we're gonna do it only takes it'll take about 40 minutes total time since we have to cook the ground beef and all and i have oh i forgot to tell y'all so this morning you know we made the biscuits that is um yeah they were yummy <laughs> they were good i wouldn't say they were as good as homemade but they were good oh yeah i need to make some tea oh yeah you got the chicken it's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, the biscuits, they just didn't get as fluffy 
as I would, you know, as we like for biscuits to be. They just weren't very fluffy. This calls for biscuit baking mix, so we're gonna use it for these, <laughs> this sloppy joe thing. It was fine with what we made this morning, though, since we did gravy biscuits, because, you know, you put gravy all over the biscuit anyway. They tasted good. They just weren't extremely fluffy. I still have some right here. I have three left over. See, they're just, you know, kind of flat. I'll try again and make them, you know, maybe make the biscuits bigger or something. The kids were disappointed because they thought spring break was this week. It's not until next week, which I'm kind of glad because a lot of times spring break, when Easter's in April, spring break is usually the week before Easter. And then so right after Easter, you go back to school. This time, right after Easter, you got the whole week off. Oh, and you know, we were talking about that I wanted to put flowers around the chicken coop. Well, one of y'all gave me a good idea. Y'all mentioned putting hanging baskets up on the chicken coop. And then I remembered a chicken coop that I saw at Tractor Supply one time. I can't remember if it was on their website or actually in the store, but on the side of their coop, they have little flower boxes. That's what I'm gonna do. And I don't think that they'll, you know, jump up in there and mess with them. We'll do it on one side and see how they act about it. But I don't think they will. And I've got their bench, the little bench that we got. I was looking, you know, for a little rocking chair to put on their porch, but I'm gonna try this bench. Titus is telling me they're just gonna, you know, make messes on it. And if they do, I'll probably move it to somewhere else. Cause it's really cute. It was only $10, but I wouldn't want them to just, you know, use it for other things than sitting. So if they start doing that, we'll move it. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put this and maybe a fake little flower pot or something beside it that they can't mess up. You know, they just wanna dig in the dirt, but a fake one, you know, I don't think they can, you know, they might still mess it up. But anyway, we'll try something on their porch. Isn't it cute? We got a couple of signs from Pappy's Country Store. I got this one for the chicken coop. So I thought we could put it probably on the front where the door is over beside the door and then put two flower boxes either right up under it or maybe one big one under it or two on each side of it. And then this one, I got this to put inside. These things are hard to pick up anyway. But yeah, this one's gonna be really cute out there on the coop with the bench. Maybe we can put it on there with the flower box and then the bench up under it. They're gonna love it. They are just gonna love it. They really probably won't even notice it, but we'll love it. All right, this ground beef is almost ready. I'm gonna go get the biscuit mix out of the refrigerator because it said to keep it refrigerated on there. Okay, let me drain this real quick. Oh, I need to preheat the oven to 350. Make sure I press start this time. Yesterday, I was sitting there like, I got the oven preheating and I didn't even have it preheating, y'all. We'll add this over here with the ground beef. I'll turn it back up to a little under medium now. I'm making a sloppy joe bake. Oh, is it sink? This is gonna press some. I got some extra sharp, Vermont extra sharp cheddar cheese for a recipe and Sissy wanted to try a piece and then she was like, never mind. <laughs> I'll put this recipe down below for y'all cause I don't really, I just kinda eyeball everything now, but it's pretty much the Pioneer Woman's sloppy joe recipe. Minus the bell pepper this time. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now we're just gonna let this simmer while we make the biscuit mix part. Sissy's shredding the cheese for me back there. We're putting two cups of the biscuit mix. Guess who's coming? Who's coming, Sissy? It's Minnie Mac. Two eggs and one cup of milk. I don't know, we're gonna see how they turn out with this milk instead of water. Watch this be a really fluffy topping here. I'm greasing my pan over here. I'm out of spray, so I'm having to, you know, do it the old fashioned way. We're pouring in the meat mixture. We put some cheddar cheese on top of the meat mixture, and now we just pour the biscuit mixture over the top. And we'll spread that around. That's it. It's going in the oven for about 25 minutes.
I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely fluffy now. I would say add milk instead of water. Well, we did add the eggs too, but it's definitely deliciously fluffy. It's really good. It's like buttermilk biscuit sloppy joe wonderfulness is what that is.